So this is the future home of our daily bread. When a guest walks in, this is where they're going to walk into. It's going to be a beautiful welcome center if you can put your imagination goggles on and sort of picture that. But over here, there's going to be three intake areas. Mm -hmm. So a guest will first be welcomed over here at the welcome desk, which um, had a naming opportunity associated with it. Buell Staten uh, Family Trust mm -hmm. is going to be named that welcome desk. And then we've got three intake areas. And so the guest will be welcomed and then come over here. Their needs will be assessed. They'll talk about you know, kind of what's going on in their lives that brought them here, and then they'll start shopping uh, if we have a volunteer ready. So if you can imagine, this whole area here is going to be gone. We're blowing out the second floor and all of this, so there'll be seating in here, this will be a glass wall, and it'll look into our shopping area. So from here, you'll be able to see fresh fruits and vegetables, you'll be able to see the you know, shelves with all the different canned goods and all of that. Well, let's go take a look at what will be. All right. So again, all of this is going to be blown out, and this is where the shopping area will begin. Okay. So if you look over here, this, these planks used to be um, part of some of the cabinetry in another part of the um, building, but we've taken it and let everybody sign our graffiti wall, and then we're going to turn that into art in our new building. And speaking of art, we're trying to find a really interesting, very still water way to say thank you to our donors and build a really beautiful donor wall. And so we have a visual arts competition going on. And we're asking anybody who wants to, to design our donor wall for us. And we're going to give them money for doing so and recognition and all that. Hmm. Isn't that a cool idea? It is cool. So here is our shopping area. And instead of just getting one brown bag of food, you're going to be able to come in here and see beautiful fresh fruits and vegetables. You're going to be able to, you know, pick the nice breads. You're going to be able to get your canned goods, anything that you could possibly need, hopefully, for that month to help you bridge the gap. Mm -hmm. So it's tremendous. We talked about the psychology of yeah. hunger. How important is it that when someone comes into this place, it feels nice? You know, dignity is a huge factor, and every human deserves dignity. And that's what we're trying to do here, is it's not... We don't want anybody to feel humiliated or embarrassed about the situation they're going to be in because tomorrow they may not be and somebody else may be in their place. So we want, we want this to be a place full of dignity and that's what we're hoping to provide them by letting people shop. So this is going to be our volunteer break room. You have to use your imagination goggles pretty good right now because we're storing so many of our in-kind donations. We have received a tremendous amount of in-kind donations from um, Oklahoma State University from their dining services as well as from the old consumers IGA when they closed in order to open sprouts they let us go in and take whatever we wanted which was tremendous for us yeah. so that's what you see in this room right now what happens if you can't use it all that is that's the great part about being part of the regional food bank system is that if we have extra shelving if we have extra anything that another food and resource center can use we just gift it over to them so we just sort of keep the cycle going mm -hmm. This is going to be our and resource hallway, um, for lack of a better name. Um, but the plan is when, when our guests come in, they're going to be receiving food in here, and the volunteers who are going to be walking with them are going to be trained in conversational interviewing. So as they walk through, they're going to be asking questions. What's going on in your life? How else can we help? And we want those questions to not just be heard, but answered. And we're going to do that in the and resource hallway. So we're, our plan is into these rooms, we're going to have small classes maybe about credit repair or household finance or diabetes education, mm -hmm. that sort of thing, so that we're, we're helping the entire person and not just their stomach. So this is my very favorite part, which is kind of strange that it's the warehouse, but this is really where our, our community comes together inside of this warehouse. Mm -hmm. um, in, in this spot here, we're gonna have coolers and freezers on the other side of the wall, so we'll be able to load in all of our nice cold things here and it'll be easily accessible from the front. But the storage and, and everything will happen against this wall. And what's neat about it is not are we just gonna have food from the regional food bank and small donations um, from individuals and larger ones from churches, but the Junior Service League does a huge harvest too mm -hmm. and right now they have to rent a warehouse somewhere else and then pay for that warehouse and then decide when and where to disseminate all that food they won't have to do that anymore it'll just come right here yeah. same with the postal carriers everything will just come right here and then we're still going to have food pantries in town we've got the mission of hope and wings of hope and other shelter-based agencies 
and they can't buy in large quantity because they have no place to put it. And so what we're going to be able to do is be a secondary re uh, warehousing space. So we'll have this whole section here will be devoted to the Mission of Hope or to the Wings of Hope so they can order their food and we'll just hold it for them here. And coming in here, I noticed names. And there's yes. so much community involvement. There's so much community involvement. We have been given uh, unbelievable in-kind donations. This, this town is, is so beyond generous. It's, I mean, you see the Fiji fraternity here, First United Methodist Church over here. We've got um, Peggy McCormick and the Consumers IGA. It's, it's amazing that the territory gave us these. So, yeah. is, is the first lesson just to understand that hunger is here too? It, it is. I think it's, I think it's open your eyes and see what's around the corner that you didn't realize and figure out what you can do to help. I mean, all of us have different gifts, talents, and abilities, and anything that we can bring here and, and, and help the ones around us, I think it's amazing. And that's what we've really seen. I mean, somebody has a talent for construction, as you've seen with the Habitat for Humanity, and, and they're going to come in and help us do a bunch of the demolition. And somebody has the ability to do marketing and communication. Somebody can figure out the operations or donate items. I, it, it's amazing how this town has come together. So I have to say we are in the heart of winter while we're doing this, but this will be green soon. It will be. It will be. And, and not only will it be green, but it will be purposeful. Mm -hmm. We're going to come in here and we're going to reside all, all of this out here so, so it's gorgeous. But we're also going to fill these beds with container gardening. We'd really like to teach everyone that not only do you have to have, or not do you have to have a, a large area in order to grow fruits and vegetables, but you can do it in a small container on your back patio in your front yard, whatever it might be. And I think that's an important point that to, you could eat healthy and you could also grow healthy as well. You can, you can. The American diet is, is chock full of, of salt and terrible things that we don't need in our, in our diets. And so what we want to do here is a bunch of herb gardening. And so we'd like to teach everybody about how easy that is. Mm -hmm. And then also then take them to our um, teaching kitchen and teach them how to cook with those herbs, with those fresh grown tomatoes or whatever else we might be able to grow in here. So we feel like this, it, this garden courtyard is just going to be a huge gift to a lot of people. So not only are you helping people grow food, but you can also help them cook. Absolutely. And that brings us to our teaching kitchen, which is going to be named after Elite Repeat. They have been unbelievably generous to us, and so this area will be named after them. It is um, going to stay as a very small kitchen. What we want is that somebody's apartment or small house is mm -hmm. going to look like this. So while we may change the wallpaper, the basics are, are going to be this because we, we really want it to feel like home. We want to teach people how to cook fresh and healthy foods right here in an environment that will be similar to what they're used to.